This is Bram Luiden with Admire and in this video I will show you how you can be part of the effort to translate DSpace 7 in as many languages as possible. As a prerequisite or as requirements to uh, follow along in the steps of this video, I assume that you have an account on github.com. These accounts are free and that you're logged in. So I'm logged in under my personal account and that you have previously clicked this button fork on the DSpace Angular uh, code repository. So you have to go to github.com slash dspace slash dspace dash angular. When you're logged in, click fork so that you have a local copy of, your, uh, of this uh, code repository before you can get started. So assuming that that's in place, let's get started. The language files can be found in a directory called resources and in that directory you can find a folder i18n. I 18 just stands for all of the characters that come between I and N in the word internationalization. So it's just shorthand for internationalization. Right now, there's only a couple of language catalogs here, but there will be much more uh, very soon. And if you need a catalog for a language that is not yet present, uh, you can always uh, put it here in the comments on the video or uh, reach out to, uh, to me or other contributors to, to get this file added. First, let's have a look at the English language catalog file. This catalog is like the authoritative version. It's the source copy uh, both for the message keys. So these are the, the kind of keys that developers refer to in the code to inject a particular message and followed by the message associated with uh, this particular key. So for example, here, we have a feature in DSpace called the Bitstream Registry and when uh, you try to create a new Bitstream format it can give a failure and that failure message is this English message. message. Now let's have a look at one of the translated catalogs, for example the Dutch language. We see that this is more extensive and that you have a bunch of lines in there that start with a double slash. These double slashes they are comments aimed at helping translators, but also making it possible to update the catalogs automatically. So we have two types of comments. First of all, there is a comment that gives us the original key and the original English, English message. It's basically a copy from the one that you see then here below. Uh, but the ones below will of course be changed with the representation in your target language in Dutch. Also, the automatic syncing between the English catalog and the translated ones adds this comment uh, that says to do. So let's say that not the entire catalog is translated, uh, but there's a few left. I can just look for to do's. Currently, there's a lot for this catalog to identify as a translator, which uh, strings still have to be translated. And this is going to be an ongoing process because developers add these kind of keys uh, on a daily or at least on a weekly basis while DSpace 7 is being developed. Um, so I speak Dutch and I want to have some time. I even have a couple of minutes and I want to contribute uh, a few translations. So what I can do is I can click this little pencil and I can start translating in this interface right away. For example, I know that the word success in, in Dutch is only with one S instead of two, but for the rest it's, exa it's exactly the same as English. So I update the translation and I remove the to do indicating that the translation was made. Here there's another one where the same thing happens. I can do it as well. Um, here I have an actual translation where I can say gefaald is for failure. There's a couple of special messages or special kind of keys and we see one here is where you have these uh, curly brackets in here. Uh, they are intended for developers to automatically in inject a number there. So whenever you encounter these, you don't have to um, you don't have to translate these. Another special 
case is where you see that both the message keys and the messages themselves, they are wrapped into double quotes, where you actually want to use the double quote symbol in the message itself. Let's try to find one of uh, a place where this happens. Uh, for example, here this happens and it's already, this is already translated. This is a case where to, in order to have these double quotes, you have to make sure that you have um, a backslash before the quote. But as you already have the suggestion of how it was in English, just um, make sure that you uh, leave those intact. So I could continue and uh, continue all of these thousands of files uh, lines, but this would make the video very, very long. Let's just that I had uh, the case that I had only a couple of minutes, uh, but that I just want to leave it at this and that I want to contribute these translations is that uh, you can commit these changes because I'm a DSpace committer. I can actually do it directly in the DSpace code base without any form of verification, but that's not uh, recommended at all. Um, I can say here contribution to the uh, Dutch translation of DSpace 7 and I will do it like this, create a new branch for this commit and start a pull request. Branch, commit, pull request, it's not important that you are uh, very, very familiar with this lingo, but the name that you give to this, um, you can make it descriptive and say Dutch, for example, Dutch message. Uh, keys and then if you click this button propose the file change you will make it possible for people in the dspace community to uh, oh, i have to do something additional here i'll just do this the same way create pull request and now it is possible for people in the dspace community to review your work uh, to approve it and to merge it with the um, the master line or the, the 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 general code base because it says that I from my um, personal branch here I want to merge into the master and I can see the changes the changes that I made they are in here so uh, people can review these changes and, and comment on them you if you see if you know a language you can also help in commenting on uh, on other people's um, other people's translations. This is also very, very easy to do through the GitHub interface. The only, what you have to do is, for example, if you think that Gefault is uh, like a bad, bad suggestion or that, that there is a correction needed, you can just click this, then click this button, and then you can correct it and say maybe it's with a T instead of a D. You can do it like this and then say, add a single comment or start the review and make it very easy for the translator to update his or her pull request with your suggestions. I hope you found this useful. If you um, need more information, put a comment on this video and we would love to also welcome you and to help you in the uh, DuraSpace Slack for translations. So we have um, a channel here, translation, where people are chatting uh, about uh, this translation work. So leave a comment on the video if you want to be invited to the Slack channel to become part of this effort. Thank you very much.